all this romance surrounding Judo, I wonder how many sides this love polygon is going to have. I wonder how things will turn out if that pilot Meridia gets thrown into the situation. Alright, and we are back. So, we're finishing up this stretch of the, br of the uh, Londo Bell branch this time. I'm going on 4th of July. They are the most... <laughs> we have some fireworks on 4th of July. How about exploding giant robots? Less likely to start fresh fires in your neighborhood. And also less likely to spook your pets. First things first. Okay, our, our, he already did the suborders last time, so we're good there. And I don't think I get submissions until 27. Yeah, 27. So not until after I finish the, not until we reach the next split, so we get some suborders. All right. Anything else? Um. All right, for Sasuke. Okay, Sasuke is about six kills away from hitting the 40 kill threshold that I need to go or 40 point threshold I need to get suck um Bontacoon. and as part of that we need to have um Kurtz and Mao we have another 30 apiece Mao is short is very short. I try to make that up with the missions. In the missions. Um but we should hopefully get there with Sosuke. We only have one uh, capital ship for the next mission. I'm probably going to use the Yamato. On this. And that concludes my report about the Unicorn. So the Federation strategy has gotten out of whack. So the goal was to just goal was to destroy Londo Bell. That was one plan, but it's sufficient for Unicorn just to get for the Unicorn to just attack the troublemakers in Londo Bell. Or at least it would be that, or at least the fact that it went on a rampage would be a reason to take over the firepower of Lanto Bell. But that Banagher Lynx succeeded in controlling destroy mode. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a member of the Vist family, all right. Huh? Well, he's Cardius Vist's son. In other words, he's your half-brother. What? I don't know the particulars, but the unicorn was passed to him. And he was going to control, and if he was going to be able to control that thing, I want to have him work for me from here on out. Meaning what? I'll have the Extreme Federation forces use that thing to exterminate the new types, the Space Noids. And if Banneker Lynx doesn't cooperate, we'll use artificial new types instead. Exterminate them! Don't we want the war to keep going? There's been a change in policy. Anaheim is allying with the Federation. But then we're going against Amalgam's policy. Aha! So the Vis Foundation from Gundam Unicorn, who were kind of the bad guys there. They were profiteering off of both sides of the war. And also seeking to genocidally wipe out new types. Um, is allied with uh, Amalgam and Captain Teslarosa's uh, brother Leonard from Full Metal Panic. 
So we're, this is actually, so actually we're kind of picking, like we're kind of picking up after the events of the second raid, more or less. So, events warning then, I guess. Um, if you haven't seen up to at least the second raid, um, through at least the second raid, I recommend you, perhaps before continuing for this uh, Let's Play, or the archives of the, of the streams, you go do that. It's on Funimation.com. Um, it's on their streaming service, and also there are physical discs available. But moving on. Not a problem. We're breaking away from those guys anyway. Lady, I don't think you know Leonard Teslarosa very, or Amalgam in particular, very well. They're like the Mafia. You don't quit. At least not voluntarily. What? Are you serious? Are you saying I should work under that kid? N no, I'm, I'm not saying that. Soon, Londo will be become part Federation. Then the final battle with Neo Zeon will begin. It's then that I want the unicorn working for us. So I want you to get it and come join us. Understood. Worry about my thing. I'll eventually get my hands in the Malcolm as well. So if you've seen... Gun of the Origin. Not of the Origin, but uh, Gun of the Unicorn. You'll really figure out that... Martha... Vist is something of a chess master. But she's not as good as she thinks she is. She... Uh, she... How to put this? Like, in a universe where Gundam Double Zeta never happened, where... Gundam Zeta never... Gundam Double Zeta and, and Zeta never happened. She probably would have done really well. But, like... The rise of the AEUG in Zeta and Double Zeta. Um, and the influence of, op, of idealists like... Um, the... Um, like, the, the crew... Like, the uh, Shangri-La crew... Um, judo and all of them uh, had on guys like um, right Noah kind of, is the kind of thing that that absolute and of course Banninger links on uh, various other characters is the kind of thing that apps like there throws massive monkey wrenches in the plans of people of like Martha Vist who assumes everyone is going to be as self-centered as she is. Mr. Ang is go Ag is in for a rude awakening. The idea that Anaheim would break away from Amalgam. Boy, Car that Cardius Vis really ended up doing a number on us. Well, yeah. If you assume everyone is a self-centered jackass like you, then it means that the way to beat you and be a sort of uh, and zig when ever, a zig when you expect them to zag would be to be an idealist be a principle a principled idealist which is what Cardius Vist was actually it's the reason why the it had the um, the uh, key to Laplace, Laplace's box in the unicorn and why his ultimate intention in the first place was to give the unicorn to his son. You finished your conversation? Looks like you've received orders too. After Londa Bell has landed on Earth, wait for the right time and then take action. Got it. Now here are the orders from Martha Vist Carby. I apprehend Vanager Lynx. If you resist, you have permission to kill him. Roger. Have you seen Unicorn? You know that Teguza is not the guy who would follow those orders at all. And I consider the general sense of loyalty within Londo Bell to Bright Noah. I suspect the next step that if Daguza's orders is report that and report those orders. To 
Noah. So we have here the uh, two Londo Bell ships. I am sticking with the Yamato. But larger move and it has more crew with more options. And also, again, it has a lot more attacks to it. Like it, it has a much wider arsenal of weapons it can use. It's a much... It has a lot more tools at its disposal compared to like the Ptolemaeus 2 where like where it has very little where it's less hit point as in River Crew but less hit points and less um, weapon options and less energy. The Yamato is the Yamato is a ship that's set that designed with a long distance space voyage in mind is where it will be self-sufficient during that and it reflects and it's reflected We look okay. It's reflected in the ship stats. Like I've barely upgraded this thing, and it still hold holds up. Like I can spend like a couple points on upgrading its weapons. I've upgraded its mobility a little bit. Like I'll be weapons two slots to make it a little more keep up with what's out there currently out there, and we're good. All right, I the line. Um, all ships have descended safely, safely. The Earth, it's been a while. Even so, seeing these horrific conditions in these Red Seas is really depressing. Commander White has issued instructions to wait here until the citizens of Industrial 7 have been brought down to Earth. Also, the members of the mobile units are saying that they want to come down to Earth. Coming from worlds with blue seas and dr blue seas and dried up seas, seeing those dead seas must be quite a curiosity. Be a good chance for them to know, get to know this world. I'll permit their landing. Ah, have a viewer watching live. Hello, person watching on Twitch. Audrey, are you okay with this? With not getting off the ship with the others? There's no place for me to go anyway. It's all right, Audrey. There was a place here for you, place for for you and London Bell. If, it's, if that's what you ever want. How this panned out in the, sh in the show is, Banna is Audrey ended up getting kind of separated from um, the two main f factions for a bit, and has kind of a road to Damascus moment at a literally at a roadside diner, run by an ex Zeon soldier who stopped decided to stop fighting and settle down on Earth. It's a really good episode, by the way. Like, if you haven't seen Gundam Unicorn, I recommend you check it out. It's not just because, oh, this is kind of spoilery for it, but it's, it's a really good show. There's a review of it on my blog at CountZeroOR.com. Anyway. Hey, Banniger, me and Makata are here too, you know. Why did the two of you stay behind? Well, what about the mechanical skills I picked up at Anaheim College? I'm here working here as a mechanic. Ha! You wanted to get your hands on some Gundams. And you, Makat? I'm like Audrey. If you and Takuya are staying behind, then there's no place for me to go, too. Or no place for me to go. That's not true. There I actually have a place for me to go, but... No need to worry, Audrey. As long as you're on the Nahal Agama, you'll be safe. I'll protect you. You see. This is the actual love triangle with Audrey and Banagher. Instant Riddy. Say, Makat, about Instant Riddy. I mentioned this too, but clearly he's got a thing for Audrey, doesn't he? So this is the world with the Red Seas, eh? These seas aren't just red, they're also dead. There's not a sing single sign of life in them. That's right. There are no living things inhabiting those waters. Your circuit system was greatly contaminated by the second impact of Getter radiation. I've confirmed it with my own sensors. There aren't even any microorganisms in this water. So considering the number of submarines that we've brought into combat and stuff with the, um, with the, with the current two series of games, um, 
V and uh, X, uh, the new X. I would not mind if Super Robot Wars, if the next game in the series had like Blue Submarine number six or something. Yeah, yeah, 90s kid, I know. When I was thrown into the world of the NCC dimension. I had no idea this had happened. And it's not just the seas. The, this land is also painful to look at. I'm here for disaster relief, and my super AI is saying that this whole area is completely dead. Another example of the ravages of war. And not just here. A large number of cities on Earth have sustained damage. Same in Japan, where I'm from. Seeing all this doesn't exactly put me in the mood to go on and on about our world. You all kind of need a Cosmo Cleaner, too. The Earth of our dimension is dying as a result of fighting between Earthlings. It's all just so sad. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know you're not all not here by choice. I shouldn't push this dark mood of mine onto you. Like... Because this universe has second impact and we're getting into Evangel Evangelion territory, um... This does make Konami, like, the, like, Konami's world in Full Metal, um, Panic is, like, on its, like, second Cold War, where, like, the Cold War went hot for a bit and then it's kind of gone cold again after the uh, global status quo was shook up by black technology. So, it's, you can still have a relatively normal life in that world. Um... But this one, we're straight on full on post-apocalyptic. Got a minute? Huh, me? I've been so busy, I haven't introduced myself properly. I'm Lieutenant Commander Shiro Sonata, Executive Officer and Technical Officer of the Yamato. What? What's this? Is Executive Officer Sonata hitting on Konami? Hmm. Excuse me a moment. Frog in my throat, sorry. You must be out of your mind. If something like that actually happens, I'll reformat my memory. <clears throat> I'm Konami Chidori. I'm acting as a tactical advisor on the Danon. I've heard things about your prowess with all things mechanical from Tobia. Can I have a minute of your time? Hmm? I'd like to hear about the AS, which sounds like a special technology out of all technological systems of this world. I'm really just an ordinary high school girl. You wouldn't be interested in what I have to say. Even the stuff I told Toby about Gundams was just some gibberish off the top of my head. When it comes to scientific inquiry, gut feelings are important too, so please. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Commander. Chidori has a Mithril meeting coming up, so we have to go. Is there a meeting scheduled today? The truth about you is top secret. We have to protect that, even from our allies. The truth about her being that she's a whispered. I, I understand. Please excuse me, Mr. Sonata. I hope we can talk again. Dom Sidori, along with I, Sergeant Sosuke Sagara, will now take our leave. <clears throat> he may be, he's maybe acting as Konami's light knight in shining armor, but don't you think he's going a little overboard? Still, I'm a little jealous of her. I feel the same way. Right? So his name is Sagara. That's right. Why? Sosuke Sakura and Konami Chidori, eh? Then Commander Sonata, we received instructions for the units that landed to come back. An enemy attack? I don't know the details, but they're saying it's urgent. Alright, get all units back ASAP. They're coming. All hands, stay on alert. A giant transport vehicle? That's Garuda from the Earth Federation forces. This is sounding it's going to be a real pain in the rump. This is Major Bluron Blutark of the G-Hound, member of the Earth Federation forces. Looks like we have to eat my spinach and then punch you in the face. D -d 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 give you a twister punch to the face, to be specific. G-Hound. So units are here directly from General Headquarters. And right after we landed, that means GHQ is aware of our movements. 
As you've been not already been notified, Londo Bell will now come under our command. This is command, command, uh, Londo Bell Commander Bright Noah. We have permission, permission to operate as an independent unit. We have no intention to follow that directive. Additionally, if you're familiar with my service record, you might be familiar with my time with the AEUG, which happened the last time Londo, last time Earth Federation pulled crap like this with the Titans. So, just put in your Funkin' Wagnalls what exactly that's, what, what exactly you can expect me to do if you try to pull some Titan crap on me. I've gone off book once before, I'll do it again! We have already replied to General Headquarters regarding this matter. You too are surely aware of the situation. DHQ has determined it's, that it's now necessary to concentrate our forces. We won't participate in the futile war of extermination. We will keep attacking the core of enemy forces in order to bring a swift, a swift end to this war. A swift to end to this war. Oof. That feels. I'd say it feels like a damn you autocorrect, but autocorrect would have caught that. It's clear from past experience that such actions will not end the war. So you're going to attack the colony and force the space noids to surrender? This is retaliation for using an axis drop and its attacks on urban areas. We keep digging this to each other. The fighting will continue until mankind really does perish. When it happens, it will be Earth that flames out first. It seems wherever we go, it's more of the same. Return to the base and tell GHQ we won't, we won't be following the strategy of Federation forces. If you say so. Same old General Headquarters saying one ridiculous thing after another. They've gone and sent out the G-Hound. So who was responsible for letting the G-Hound out? That's what I want to know. Who, 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 who? Are those guys well known? They're a lot, they're an elite unit during direct control of GHQ. A lot of its members were previously in the Titans. You sure know those guys inside and out. If we hadn't been prop if we hadn't volunteered for Lando's Bell, we would only have been assigned to the Tri-Stars. They're planning to incorporate Lando Bell into their own fighting forces. That includes not just Commando Amaro and Judo, but also Mithril and us as well. And at the end of this path is a deadly war that ensnares the ordinary citizens as well. I have no intention of being part of a war like that. I fight at my own free will, and I'm about to kill people as somebody's pawn. That's right, Angie. Captain Otto, Tip Tessarosa, and my dad have no intention of complying with, the G with GHQ. Still, if things keep up like this... Ancient Riddy, do you know where Banagher is? I think it was summoned by Commander Deguza. I see. Audrey, wait. What is it? Do you have any, um, misgivings about this situation? I am disappointed the Earth Federation is much more corrupt than I imagined. Only true of part of the organization. Ancient Riddy. The people who do care about the Earth, my dad isn't what- My dad, for one, doesn't believe that exterminating people in the colony is going to end things. Riddy... Marcinus. Your father, by chance, wouldn't be Ronan Marcinus. Uh, yeah. Consulman Roman Mar Ronan Marcinus. Chair no, chairman of the Settlement Issues Council. They know about him, huh? Yes. It's in Riddy. I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I'm going to trust you with a secret of mine. If you say so, then I guess that's that. The plan to resort to force? The captain! Burns the situation, if you send a report, do it fast. Captain, from here on out, you're going to follow our orders. Major Conroy, what are you talking about? Eco ECOAS will now take control of the Nahal Argama. Commander Daguza! Don't think you'll me, Banneker. I'm just doing my duty. Moving among us as a spy to take control of Londa Bell from within when the opportunity arises. I think they take such a heavy-handed approach. That's how dire a situation the Federation was placed in. I, it's, been, it's been a bit since I've seen this particular chunk of Unicorn. I think this is a characterization flip for Deguza. It's 
another attack the colony and repeat the cycle of animosity. Just the same, there's no way we can let Neo Zeon do us whatever they please on Earth. This sort of thinking is the reason the war never ends, no matter how much time passes. Want me to end this war is by beating the enemy to a pulp. Is that what you really think? What? Commander Ga Ga Tagusa, you also saw the light of the Axis, didn't you? You didn't feel anything then? Haniger. From what I hear, the people who were there tried to stop Axis from falling. Federation? Zeon? It didn't matter. There's, there's still a possibility. We can understand one another. Federation can't afford to be engaging in fantasies like that. We don't just give up like that. That's how we were able to save Banniger from the Unicorn. And Banniger responded to that. So did the Unicorn. I believe in it. Impossibility. Call it fantasy. Call it what you will. Hmm. Big uh, dialogue dub open here. Apparently, Ixo, Ikoas has occupied the Nahal Argama. A disappointing outcome. Oh, Jared Mesa. Um... Twice patricidal jackass. Patricidal will not it will dare his own parents. But uh, but um actually yeah, patricidal and matricidal because he killed both of the parents of uh Camille Badan. From your toe. It's not like you wanted to have some conflict. Ah Yazin, I forget what the hell your last name is. Also from uh, Zeta and Double Zeta. You managed to get out of a Double Zeta more or less alive. Uh, not more or less alive. You're going to get out of Double Zeta alive. Uh, I look forward, at, at, in spite of having done some really nasty stuff and killing off a couple characters from Zeta before you left. I'm really looking forward to giving you your comeuppance this time. Did you feel exactly the same way yourself? Good question. All units, be careful. Something is coming. Ah, oh, hi, Neo Zeon. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, and the Gamelins. Neo Zeon. And those damn aliens are here, too. Neo Zeon, along with their allies, they're attacking us. Damn it, at the worst possible time. Meanwhile. Ugh. Bandit Dog is up. Wake up. Ugh! You're not- you're just not the kind of person who'd do this, and yet! Panager, do you really think a rank amateur could beat EcoS in close combat? Even still. Even still, there are things that you just have to do. Panager, you've lost Commander Dakuza. I let me warn you, you may be a real robot pilot, but I'm a super robot pilot. Sorry, but we've neutralized all your people. Ugh! Who can this? This can't be. Who the hell are they? Human beings just like you. Also, the protagonists of our respective anime series. And we don't intend to listen to unreasonable requests. The prince has also apparently been recaptured by Setsuna, Alleluia, and Ryoma. I can't believe that in one split second the elites of Ikoas can be done in so easily. Normally, that would be impossible. But when you get a critical mass of anime series protagonists in one place, the impossible becomes possible. Girl, Nico has soldiers, you think maybe they didn't really want to take part in this battle? What? It's the same thing as that devilish Ikoa's captain being overpowered by a novelist like Banneker. It's our given duty. We don't have the right to refuse. Actually, Daguza, in accordance, and according to the legal press set by Geneva Convention, it is the duty of officers when given unlawful or, Im or immoral or unethical orders to disobey those orders makes no sense to risk your life for something that you don't believe in. Banner. Looks like it looks like everything's taken care of. Commander Okia! Commander himself is here, leaving the Yamato? He said he was coming to Nahir Agama no matter what, and came along. Commander Deguza. Hmm. You act in accordance with your old orders. As a soldier, that's natural. It's proper. But even a soldier sometimes has to act as one human being. As one human being. People make mistakes. And if you both believe something is a mistake, if that even if something is in order, you have to have you've got to have the courage to act on your own principles. Commander, that's what I think. Well then what should we do? Banninger has already given us a sliver of the answer to that question. 
Hmm. Okuda giving up a card speech. That's all. Kodai, time to get back to the Yamato. Roger. You've lost. Detain us. Do with us what you will. Sorry, but we don't have time for that. Here's you have noticed. We have the Neo Titans and the Neo Zeon and the Gambolins all to deal with. We're going to intercept Neo Zeon. Also, by the way, um, the Titans at one point allied themselves with Neo Zeon. So, the Earth Federation just welcoming back the former Titans like Jared Mesa with open arms is kind of like, really, you guys? Really? This time the leopard's not going to chew off my face. As opposed to the last time when the leopard chewed off my face. All units, hurry to take off. What? Nagusa, we have no intention of fighting the wrong enemy. Federation forces will guard your guys as traitors. So be it. Meanwhile, Amaro and Judo are like, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. All right then. Now go, and don't appear before us as enemies again. I certainly hope we don't. All right, we have 50, all right, so we have 15 robots to send. Sasuke, Mao, Kurtz. Put them together because they have a combo attack that they can do together. Um, on the Vang Ray for healing ability, Guard Diver. Mission requirements. We also need both Quebleys. We need the double Zeta. We need the Unicorn. We need to level up in a bit. Um, we well, going to need some super robots. Great Mazinger. We might gain in here. Ditarn. Z Gundam. I need Amaro here. And let's do Oh, Black Selena, because I've almost got Akito leveled up. To uh, enough enough that you have fifty kills so I can decide on the ace talent. Amalgam is here too. Amalgam, what's that? a private armed organization like Mithril. Unlike Mithril, they have their own AS development technology and they operate in the shadows. If they're a secret if we're a secret organization of justice, they're a secret organization of evil. Like the IMF and the Syndicate. A group like that is cooperating with Neo Zeon. They're only a subject of rumors before, but apparently they don't want to hide anymore. The unit was entrounced in the Battle of Hong Kong, but they still haven't learned their lesson. That would be the conclusion of, full, of um, Second Raid. Don't be so harsh, Kashim. That voice. I'm glad you guessed it, Kashim. 
the last we could be to get. Here's what we're different from continuity. Gowron died. Like, really, really died at the end of the second raid. Gowron, I thought you were killed in Hong Kong. Still knew you fool, I see. What made you think that me that was there was the real thing? Why you? Let's have some fun, Keshi. I came all the way back from hell just for this. Master, we'll deal with the enemies in the surrounding area. New intervention saved our lives. We'll use those lives for your benefit. I'm counting on you, too. Mr. Gowron, our enemy is Londa Bell and the regular army. Don't let your guard down. We've got our destroyers in quarry. This is shaping up to be quite a party. If I put in a good show in this battle, Master and everyone in the Garancieri is going to have a better life. That's why I volunteered for the ground forces. Now I'll show him what I can do. The Ozeon, Amalgam, Gambolus, and at a bonus, Meridia is here too. You're kidding. He followed us and came down here? I'm sorry, Major Burren. Our strategy failed. I suggest we cooperate with Londa Bell in attacking the Ozeon. We can't do that. We've been ordered to attack Londa Bell as a traitor if the mission fails. You say that at a time like this? Our parent, orga our parent organization is AEUG. The AEUG. You'll never know when they join the organization again. Let me answer that question for you. For you. You do know. If you if you turn fascist and turn on them, they'll join the AEUG. The headquarters decided we should take them out before that happens. That's a stupid. That's a stupid idea. Even here, there are soldiers tied up by orders. These guys aren't so much tied up by orders as much as using orders to justify their prejudices and toxic actions. And the GHQ is certain at first about, about saving its own face, first and foremost. Everyone, as we heard, we're facing off against Lando Bell and Neo Zeon. Yes, sir. But this is how things end up. That I was hoping for, anyway. All units, we're looking at a three-sided battle. We're looking at three-sided battle. All units, we're wearing pincer attacks. I'll give us Lambda Driver equipped units too. Careful with those guys. That's that systems that Sasuke's Arbus is equipped with. Can't believe we're fighting against those. A three-sided battle between human beings. It's pure chaos. They all have their own motives. People be people, I guess you could say. Who's I'm risking my life for something that I believe in. And little by little, I've come to understand what that thing actually is. I really need to upgrade your robot, by the way. Oh, guess our point. I have to beat Jared, Yazin, Buren, Marita, and Galron within five turns in a single turn. Also, Riddy has to make it out alive, and none of my battleships have to go down. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.